A Clayton County judge is now stepping in after Jonesboro City Council members handed over an order refusing the mayor access to City Hall. Channel 2 learned this stems from an incident where a city employee accused the mayor of pointing a gun at him. Channel 2 investigative reporter Ashley Lincoln live now in Jonesboro. And Ashley, you found out this happened inside City Hall. It happened inside the mayor's office, Linda. I found out right now a Clayton County judge has stepped in in this situation, stating more facts need to be reviewed before telling the mayor she can't enter into this building. Asking for my property um, is indirect, an indirect way of asking me to voluntarily step down. Jonesboro City Mayor Danya Sauter says that's what board members asked of her after deciding she was no longer allowed to enter City Hall. I just simply want to do the work that I was elected to do. The board's decision stems from an August incident involving Sauter and a Jonesboro police lieutenant. I unlocked the door, grabbed the handgun, and transferred it, and just commented that I want to make sure I don't leave it here because it was the end of the day. She tells me the incident happened here in her office. Proceeded to get the ruler and continue with our conversation. No he, threat was made. Again. No threat was made. He never flinched. But the lieutenant sees things differently. He told me over the phone he feared for his safety. His attorney advised him not to do an interview. In this letter, the lieutenant sent to the chief of police, he says she pointed the gun in his direction. And the unexpected action left him feeling assaulted and in fear. Sauter says the lieutenant never expressed his alarm about the incident. She showed me surveillance video of the lieutenant leaving her office, where she says he did not appear like he was in fear. Why is the mayor allowed to bring in a weapon? There's currently no law. Um, that prohibits me as an elected official, as the chief executive officer for the city of Jonesboro, that prohibits me from bringing a firearm into the building. We did notice a sign prohibiting weapons at the public entrance. However, there is not a sign at the employee entrance. And does that exclude employees? Um, none of our employees come through the metal detector. Sauter says she started carrying a handgun after receiving several threats after being elected as Jonesboro's first African-American mayor. A lot of this has to do with my safety. She says after city leaders refused a meeting with her, she went to the state, where a Clayton County judge issued this temporary order allowing Sauter to return to City Hall. I just wanted that same due process to be afforded to me. And the GBI is currently investigating this incident. Because of that investigation, the mayor did not want us to publish that surveillance video. In the meantime, a court hearing is set on the state level regarding this order later this month. Reporting live tonight in Jonesboro, Ashley Lincoln, Channel 2 Action News.